Hi, my name is Wolfgang, and in this video, I will show you how to create a mind map in LibreOffice Draw. A mind map is the visual expression of your thoughts and ideas on achieving a central goal. This could be a holiday trip, a project at school, a business plan, or a technical project. Our simple example will be baking a cake. To simplify things even more, I only use two different shapes, an ellipse and rounded rectangles. Let's get into it. Change your worksheet to landscape. Click on page in the toolbar, then on page properties. In the next menu, click on page if not selected yet, then choose landscape. To be able to produce the rounded rectangles, Go to View in the main toolbar and then Toolbars. Check Legacy Rectangles in the drop down menu and the corresponding submenu will open on the worksheet. Let's start with the mind map now. To position an ellipse or any other shape on the worksheet, click on it and drag it to size with the mouse. Produce one in the middle of the worksheet. Click on Insert Text Box in the main toolbar and enter your project name Baker Cake. Mouse over Baker Cake and edit it with a pop up menu in the main toolbar. Use fill color in the side toolbar. To make the enclosing line stand out, right click inside the ellipse and click line. In the pop up menu, set up the line properties style, color, and width. Position a rounded rectangle unfilled on the worksheet. Click on it and drag it to size with the mouse. Click points in the main toolbar and shift the small square in the upper left corner to change the rounding. Change the size of the rectangle with the other small squares. Click on insert text box in the main toolbar and enter your idea. Mouse over your text and edit it with the pop-up menu in the main toolbar. Use fill color in the side toolbar. To make the enclosing line stand out, right-click inside the ellipse and click Line. In the pop-up menu, set up the line properties, style, color, and width. To connect the elements, click on Insert Line. Position the starting point with the crosshair on one element and drag it with the mouse to the other one. In the same way, you enter the other elements of your mind map and connect them. Of course, you are free to use different shapes and colors. This concludes our video. If you found it useful, like it and subscribe to my channel. There are more videos like this. If you have a comment or suggestion, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to get in touch with you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.